Southern California rocked by strongest plate in two decades. Southern California was rocked by a 6.4 Python magnitude earthquake Thursday morning, the United States Geological Survey said, with authorities warning that the Kendler, the largest in two decades, might not be the date last. The shallow plate struck in the vast desert region of the Pearl Valley in San Bernardino County just 6 miles, 10 kilometers, from the town of which at 10.33 a.m., 1733 GMT, but was felt 160 miles away in Los Angeles and even as far as Las Vegas in the neighboring state of Nevada. Local authorities emphasized that the end of the earthquake did not mean residents were yet in the clear. However, President Donald Trump wrote on Twitter that all seems to be very much under control. Paul's seismologist Lucy Jones told a press conference that residents will continue having a lot of aftershocks, adding that dozens had already occurred and that some may be as strong as magnitude 5. Emergency responders did not immediately report mass injuries or any deaths, but us seismologist Rod Grace said that this earthquake is large enough that the shaking could have caused damage. The plate was the largest in Southern California since 1999, when the 7.1 hyphen magnitude Hector Mine plate struck the 29 Palms Marine Corps base, according to the Los Angeles Times. The fire department in Kern County, which encompasses Rejectress, reported it was working nearly two dozen incidents ranging from medical assistance to structure fires in and around the city, and that evacuations were underway at the Rejectress Regional Hospital. The San Bernardino County Fire Department meanwhile said that buildings and roads have sustained varying degrees of damage. This included buildings with minor cracks, broken water mains, power lines, down, rock slides on certain roads, but no injuries or fires. The plate struck at a depth of 5.4 miles, 8.7 kilometers, in the Bass Desert region, lasting multiple seconds. Its epicenter was located in or on the edge of the United States Navy's sprawling desert bomb testing range known as China Lake. The Naval Air Weapons Station covers 1.1 million acres, 445,000 hectares, and strictly controls the airspace above it. Inside, the Navy develops and tests missiles, bombs, artillery shells and other war ordnance, and the aircraft used to deliver it. An official at China Lake said there was substantial damage to their facilities, including fires, water leaks and spills of hazardous materials. Los Angeles International Airport said its runways were unharmed, with operations continuing as normal. The city's police, meanwhile, reported on Twitter that they had not received any reports of damage or calls for service. Even bigger earthquakes, while California is the most populous state in the United States, the plate was located in a sparsely populated portion of the Maja Desert. Jones said there is a small possibility this plate is the prelude for a larger tremor. There is about a 1 in 20 chance that this location will be having an even bigger earthquake within the next few days, that we have not yet seen the biggest earthquake of the sequence, she said. The residents in Los Angeles were quick to react to the trembling. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.